Hello and welcome again to airgunweb.com. My name is Rick Utzler and I'm glad you could join us again today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Remington Vantage 1200 rifle. The one difference between the standard Vantage and this particular rifle is I've had to replace the scope. I've replaced it with a center point scope from Crossman and this is a 3 to 9 by 40 AO adjustable scope and it does have the range estimating mill dots inside. It's a very good match for this rifle, and so far we've gotten some pretty decent results. By swapping the scope, it will definitely give this rifle an advantage over, say, the Ruger Airhawk, which we actually are going to go back and take another look at, and I'm going to replace their 4x32 scope with probably a Leaper scope and see what kind of improvement we can get at 20 yards, but we'll do that another day. Right now, let's go ahead and take a look at this Remington Vantage 1200. What I noticed about the Vantage pretty much immediately is that Crossman uh, abandoned that orangey wood uh, that comes on like the Quest or the Storm and they opted for a very rich wood grained uh, hardwood stock. Um, it's a very simple stock. It's work, uh, it works equally well for both righties and lefties. It's not too um, heavy. It's not too light. Uh, it's shaped well and it pulls very good to the shoulder. Uh, it was a very, very nice change. The uh, Remington Vantage comes with both front and rear fiber optic sights. Now it's shipped with a 4x32 scope that quite literally just fell apart during initial testing. Um, so I removed it and I installed this center point 3x9x40. Uh, a Leaper's 3x9x40 or 3x9x32 would work equally well on this rifle. Uh, it's well suited for that 3 by 3x9 um, class scope. Here's a look at the front sight and we're going to go back to of course the rear sight. Um, these work very very well as open sights and uh, if that's your thing uh, you'll be very very pleased with these sights on this rifle. The trigger is your standard Crossman trigger. The blade's different but the mechanism stays the same. Um, very light first stage which really is not a true first stage it's just a spring. Um, the second stage is uh, long and uh, unpredictable, so this gun takes a lot of practice with technique to shoot well. Here's a look at that center point scope. I believe this is a, a scope that just ships on some of their rifles that I had laying in the box. You can buy center point scopes from Pyramid Air, and they run about $80, and then I think you still need some rings, so Leapers may be a better option. Now there's no sense in me boring you with a bunch of shots of me shooting through a chronograph, so we're just going to go straight through the results of my crony testing. Starting with the RWS Hobbies, these are 7 grain wad cutter pellet. I had a high of 968 feet per second, a low of 948 feet per second, an average of 955 feet per second, with a difference of 20 feet per second. That's not a bad grouping uh, as far as speed goes. Um, and the velocity is definitely up near that thousand foot per second. Now I ran through a bunch of exotic pellets and uh, Beeman, H&N, uh, JSB, you name it, we tried it. Um, in the end, the best pellets I found for this rifle were both the Crossman Premier in the cardboard box and the Crossman Premier hollow point. Now let's look at those velocities. These pellets are a 7.9 grain pellet. Um, both of them are 7.9 grain. Starting with the Crossman Premier in the cardboard box, we had a high of 886 feet per second, a low of 873 feet per second, an average of 880 feet per second, with a difference of 13 feet per second. That's a very tight spread um, in velocities and, so, and a gun that's this inexpensive. Now, the Crossman Premier hollow point, they are still a uh, 7.9 grade pellet and therefore they delivered very very similar numbers. Um, we had a high of 884 feet per second, a low of 872 feet per second, an average of 879 feet per second with a difference of only 12 feet per second. As you can see again very very consistent. We're going to set up for some accuracy testing. We're set up at 20 yards. We're going to shoot the Crossman Premiers and then we're going to shoot the Crossman Premier hollow points and see how the groups compare. Let's go get set up.
So let's wrap up our look at the Remington Vantage 1200. It's a very traditional brake barrel. It's inexpensive. Uh, one thing you're going to need to do right off the bat is replace that scope that they include. Uh, I've got a center point scope here, but you could also use, say, a Leapers 3 to 9 by 40, which would be a very good uh, match to this rifle. They're not terribly expensive. You can get them for around 50 bucks at PyramidAir.com. Uh, rings will cost you another $10. All in all, you're going to still have less than $200 in a gun that shoots exceptionally well. One of the things I liked about this rifle is that there was very little buzz. Uh, even though it's made in China, it seems, to be, it seems to have been made very, very well. And it looks like they paid pretty good attention to quality control. Um, the stock's a great stock, as we've talked about earlier. Uh, it's a really, really nice gun for the money. It's a great starter rifle, but it can also deliver uh, down the road as well. Um, as always, I'm going to complain to Crossman about the trigger. Um, they may have changed the blade, but the mechanism's the same. Uh, what I mean by that is that it's got a first stage, which is very light, and then the second stage, uh, which should actually be very crisp and fire the rifle, uh, is actually very long. You have to pull through that second stage and sort of wait for the sear to, to disengage and the gun to fire. I've gotten used to shooting these kinds of rifles that have this type of trigger system. So I've, I've learned to really be able to hold uh, my hold uh, still and have good follow through and I'm able to get decent groups. But if you're new to the sport, you may find that accuracy is a problem. Well, that'll improve with practice. Um, if they could do something to improve this trigger system to be, um, well, gosh, there's just so many better trigger systems out there. But if they could eliminate the creep in the second stage so that when you pulled, when you got to the second stage and then your next little bit of effort actually caused the gun to fire, uh, you'd find much, much better accuracy out of these rifles. So that's our look at the Remington Vantage 1200. I think it's a good gun for the money. Uh, you will need to put a scope on it. Um, but all in all, uh, I like it quite a bit. I want to thank the folks over at Pyramid Air for providing all these products and the supplies for the review. I don't have their banner up, but I will for our next video. When you need your next air gun or your next batch of supplies, please remember to visit www.pyramidair.com. Talk to the sales folks. They got a great group of people there. They definitely want to help you get the right product at the right price. My name is Rick Utzler with airgunweb.com. Until next time, please shoot safe and have a whole lot of fun.